It really is important that we keep things in context as we look into the Word of God or we look into our own lives and what's going on right now. Hi, I'm Craig Fritchley with The Sanctuary and the past couple devotionals we've been talking about how when God came to the tabernacle in Exodus 33, he talked with Moses face to face as a man talks with his friend. And that's the kind of relationship God wants to have with all of us. But when you look at this scenario in context, you see it was just a few days earlier that the children of Israel failed miserably. God had called Moses up into the mountain and he was there for 40 days and God gave him the law. He gave him the 10 commandments. He came down with the tables of stone. And when him and Joshua came back toward the camp, they heard the sound of war. That's what they thought. But it was really the sound of idolatrous worship. As the children of Israel in short, 40 short days had turned back to idolatry, the ways they learned in Egypt. Moses was furious. He broke the, the tablets. God was mad. And so he told Moses, grind up the calf, put it in the water, make him drink it. It made him sick. Some died. But God moved on. Because in chapter 33, it's amazing how God turns the page and says, yes, I know you're human. I know you failed but it's time to move on because I remember my promises to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And so instead of destroying the people, God forgave the people. And he said, it's time to move on and go to the promised land. So he came down and he talked to Moses in the temple so all the people could see that what happened in the mountain wasn't a peculiar thing. It was something that can happen with anyone. Joshua was there, he stayed in the temple, or the tabernacle. And then the Lord and Moses, as they continued to talk as he went into the camp, Moses told the Lord, hey, you've got to lead this people. You've got to lead me. You've got to help me. Verse 13, he said, if I found grace in thy sight, show me thy way, that I may know thee, that I might find grace in thy sight, and consider that this nation is thy people. And God said, my presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. What an awesome God we serve. He said, I'm going to go with you, Moses. And I'm not only going to go with you, but I'm going to give you rest. That's what God wants. God wants us to have a personal relationship so that we can navigate life. And he wants us to find rest and peace in our lives. So whatever you're facing today, wherever you're at, let God put things back in context. Your life might be a mess right now and things might seem like it's out of control, but let God speak to you. Let God forgive you. Let God help you. Let God guide you and lead you. Because his plan is face-to-face -face communication, personal communication with his people. And God wants you to know him. He wants to talk to you. And he wants to give you everything that you need as you go forth. Moses told the Lord, if thy presence go not with me, then don't take us anywhere. Don't carry us up thence. He said, I don't want to go without your presence. And my friend, we shouldn't go anywhere in this life by ourselves. We've got to have the spirit of God, the infilling spirit of God in our lives as we go forth. So let God speak to you today. Let God help you. Let God minister to you as you, you navigate life. God bless you. Share these with others. If we can do anything to help you, we'd gl be glad to. We want you to have your own relationship with the Lord. Leave a comment below or go to our website, the SyracuseSanctuary.org. That's SyracuseSanctuary.org. You can send us an email. You can call us at the church office. Whatever we can do to help you, we'll be glad to, because we want to see you get to heaven and hear God say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Have a blessed day.